Hi, I'm Dr. Silva, and today I'm going to be talking about Vibrid, Belazodone. Belazodone is a very unique antidepressant. It actually is approved by the FDA for the treatment of major depressive disorder, but it's also used like other serotonergic antidepressants to treat anxiety disorders, and it's very effective there. What makes it special, it's actually the first in a class, and the only one really, it is a combination of a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, and it's also a partial agonist at serotonin 1A receptors. These are presynaptic autoreceptors, and I'm not gonna get into the esoterics of the pharmacodynamics of the serotonin receptors and subtypes, but this medication is can be thought of as an SSRI, but because it also is a partial agonist at 5-HT1A receptors, meaning that it partially stimulates those receptors. It doesn't block them, it stimulates them, but it doesn't stimulate them as fully as serotonin itself would do. So the important thing to know is that by blocking those receptors, because they are presynaptic autoreceptors, you actually increase serotonergic activity. So just like reuptake inhibition, both mechanisms of action here serve to increase serotonin. And so you get the antidepressant actions, you get the anxiolytic actions, you have the improved frustration tolerance, you have the increased threshold to tearfulness, all the things that come along with SSRIs. But because you have this partial agonism, you reverse or obviate, at least to a certain extent, it varies from patient to patient, the sexual dysfunction that you get because of all the serotonin, and specifically the anorgasmia. And so velazodone has less sexual dysfunction, theoretically would have no sexual dysfunction. And I actually haven't used it enough to be able to tell you anecdotally whether I think that across the board, whether I've had a lot of patients that have had sexual dysfunction on velazodone, it's certainly possible, but it would be a medication that you would reach for in a patient who needed an SSRI, but for whom sexual dysfunction would be a deal breaker. Definitely, and also weight gain. The partial agonism at this receptor also obviates weight gain. So two major deal breakers for patients who take SSRIs. Not all SSRIs cause weight gain, but for example, Paxil, certainly does in most patients. And velazodone compared to Paxil has, and also Paxil has the worst sexual dysfunction, particularly anorgasmia. So it's sort of the two extremes. If you paroxetine and velazodone, you have two SSRIs, but because one has partial agonism at this receptor subtype, you have hopefully, theoretically, essentially no sexual dysfunction and no weight gain. And in real life, probably just a lot less. Velazodone is also unique in that you must take it with food. If you take it on an empty stomach, that can reduce absorption by up to 50%. And so it's very important that one is consistent and takes it consistently with some food. Velazodone is now available in a generic preparation. Once upon a time, it was very expensive to get the brand name. And it probably, even the generic, is probably still going to be more expensive than generic Zoloft, say. And so if cost is a consideration and you don't have insurance or the copay is unreasonable, you can always add buspirone, buspar, a medication which is very inexpensive, which also happens to be a partial 5-HT1A agonist. And so you can simply combine buspirone with, say, Prozac or Zoloft, and you are, you are approximating melazodone because you're actually adding that very unique mechanism of action that is the partial agonism. I talk about buspirone in another video, but it's worth saying that buspirone is approved by the FDA, not for the treatment of any specific anxiety disorder, but merely for the management of anxiety conditions in general in the short term. And it's not very effective as monotherapy, I have to say. But it is used, I use it when I reach for buspirone, it is to reverse anorgasmia. And it's not as good as mirtazapine at doing that, but it does in about half the patients that I try it in, it really is effective at doing that because it is a partial agonist at 5-HT1A. And so velazodone has that built in. It's a little more convenient, although it might be a little more expensive.